A terrifying incident at a zoo in Phoenix. A woman attacked and seriously hurt by a jaguar while trying to take a selfie next to the animal's cage. And we do want to warn you, some of these images are disturbing. Here's NBC's Morgan Chesky. The lady had her hand in the paws of the um, jaguar all clawed up. For Michelle Flores and her son Adam, this was not how their trip to the zoo on Saturday was supposed to go. Adam capturing the terrifying moments after a woman was attacked by this jaguar. Witnesses say the woman jumped a barrier to get closer to the cat's cage to take a selfie. Michelle tried to stop the animal with a water bottle. Until she got the water bottle and distracted it and, and it unclasped except for her sweater, uh, then we were able to pull her off. The woman, who's in her 30s and has not been identified, sustained serious cuts on her arm. Zoo officials temporarily removed the five-year-old jaguar named Sarah from public display. The jaguar will not be euthanized. We do not hold the jaguar responsible for what happened, and it has been concluded that the injuries were caused due to human error. This isn't the first incident involving the cat. Last year, she clawed another visitor who got too close. All the barriers that we have in place do meet the USDA standards and regulations for animals such as the jaguars, which are predators and need that double barrier system. Attacks on zoo patrons are relatively rare. Since 1990, advocates say at least 260 people have been injured by animals or falls into enclosures, and 34 others have been killed, mostly zoo workers. Earlier this year at a Florida zoo, a two-year-old girl was hospitalized after stumbling into the rhino exhibit. And in 2016 at an Ohio zoo, a toddler fell into an enclosure housing Harambe, a 450-pound gorilla who cradled the child just moments before officials shot and killed the ape. After being treated at a hospital, zoo officials say the victim in the jaguar attack went back to apologize to them for what she called a foolish decision. These are wild animals and that there are boundaries put in place for the safety for everyone involved. A reminder that no selfie is worth sacrificing safety. For today, Morgan Chesky, NBC News.